Hello, in this video we're going to review how to register your FMBooks connector plugin and how to configure it with your QuickBooks file. So we're going to go ahead and assume that you have already downloaded the plugin and you've already installed it. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click register. Right now you can see that I have a demo license ID in here and I'm in unregistered operating mode. I'm going to go ahead and register this plugin in demo mode. However, when you buy the plugin, you will be supplied with a license ID that you can go ahead and put in this field, click register, and then your operating mode will be live. So our registration has been successful, and then you can see the operating mode change to demo. Now that we've registered our plugin, we're ready to go ahead and do our QuickBooks file connection test. You want to open your QuickBooks file prior to doing this connection test if it's the very first connection that you're making. So we'll go ahead and click test. And that's going to go ahead and bring up this QuickBooks authentication certificate. It's basically saying this is your QuickBooks file. Are you allowing the application FMBooks connector to access your QuickBooks file? You have a couple different options down here. What we would recommend is that you click the fourth option. Yes, always allow access even when QuickBooks is not running. This allows you to use your FMBooks connector and work with your QuickBooks file regardless of the status of the QuickBooks file. So we'll go ahead and click yes and we'll click continue and it's basically just saying that you're confirming that the FMBooks connector can access your QuickBooks file. Click done. Now you can see that we have a zero result and we have the QuickBooks version information of the QuickBooks file that we're using. This option down here is for once you've already established that initial connection with QuickBooks and you've already gone through and clicked yes on that certificate that we just saw, then what you can do is with QuickBooks closed, you can click browse for your QuickBooks file, set the file path, and then go ahead and connect with your QuickBooks. That covers it for how to register and configure your FMBooks connector with your QuickBooks file. Thank you for watching.